Hello and welcome to ITNs. So in the last session we learned about uh, DDoS, right? I mean that is one of your application protection service uh, which is provided on Azure, right? In this session we are going to learn about an, another technology, right? Because as you know, day in day out you get a lot of malicious attackers who will attack your websites and will cause the outage to your application, right? Which is which is actually not going to be in a good uh, for for your uh, applications, right? I mean, it's going to get your image down. Your uh, the portfolio of your applications will not be looking good in the market, right? So how you're going to protect the application in all the various angles, and so that your application is made sure that you are not they are not open for any such attacks, right? So in this session, we are going to look at another technology which Azure provides on the application protection service uh, that is called as uh, Web Application Firewall, right? Or WAF in short that we actually uh, can also be referred to, right? So in this session, we are going to look about it and we are going to look about the features, the various other parameters, how we are going to monitor and do other things, how we can pull out those reports those are the things that we are going to look out in this session, alright? Great, I'll see you in the session then. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. Let's go ahead with the session for this uh, this session that is application protection service web app firewall, right? So Azure Web Application Firewall or WAF on Azure application gateway provides centralized protection of your web applications from common exploits and vulnerabilities. Web applications are increasingly targeted by malicious attack that exploit commonly known vulnerabilities. As you know about SQL injection and cross-site scripting are among the most common attacks. WAF on application gateway is based on core rule set 3.1, 3.0 or 2.2.9 from the Open Web Application Security Project. The WAF automatically updates to include protection against new vulnerabilities with no additional configuration that is required. All of the WAF features exist inside a WAF policy. You can create multiple policies and they can be associated with an application gateway to individual listeners or to path-based routing rules on an application gateway. This way, you can separate policies for each side behind your application gateway if needed needed yeah now this is how the application gateway operates so application gateway operates in application delivery controller right it offers TLS uh, termination cookie based session affinity round robin loot distribution content based routing ability to host multiple websites and security enhancements Application gateway security enhancements include TLS policy management and end-to-end -end TLS support. Application security is strengthened by WAF integration into application gateway. The combination protects your web application against common vulnerabilities and it provides an easy to configure central location to manage. All right? let's move to the next one. That is WAF protection and monitoring. So, WAF helps in uh, protecting web applications from web vulnerabilities and attacks without modification to backend codes. WAF helps, helps in protecting multiple web applications at the same time. Uh, an in instance of application gateway can host up to 40 websites that are protected by web application firewall. You can create custom WAF policies for different sites behind the same WAF. And also you can actually protect uh, web applications from malicious bots with the IP reputation rule set. All right. 
now let's talk about the monitoring part so monitoring uh, it actually helps in uh, monitor attacks against your web application by using a real-time WAF log the log is integrated with an Azure monitor to track WAF alerts and easily monitor trends the application gateway WAF is integrated with Azure Security Center and the Security Center provides a central view of the security state of your Azure resources right let's move to the next one that is WAF customization and features so you can customize WAF rule and WAF groups to suit your application requirements and eliminate false positives you can associate it a WAF policy for each site behind your WAF to allow for site specific configuration and you can create a custom rules to suit the needs of your application so that's how you can actually customize it now let's look in some of the features of WAF so WAF can help you in providing SQL injection protection it can help in cross-site scripting protection uh, and also for the protection against common web attacks such as command injection, HTTP request smuggling, HTTP response splitting and remote file execution. It also protects you against HTTP protocol violations and HTTP against uh, protection against HTTP protocol anomalies such as missing host user agent and accept header. It can actually detect of common application misconfigurations, right? So configurable request size limits with lower and upper bounds can help can be done with WAF. Alright, so and the exclusion lists let you omit certain request attributes from a WAF evaluations. A common example is Active Directory inserted tokens that are used for authentication. You can also create custom rules to suit the specific needs of your application. Yeah. And geofilter traffic can be used to allow or block certain countries, regions from gaining access to your applications. And you can also protect your application from bots with the bot mitigation rules. In, right? Alright, uh, let's now take talk about uh, some of the WAF policies that we can use. So, to enable a web application firewall on an application gateway, you must create a web policy, right? This policy is where all of your managed rules, custom rules, exclusions, and other customizations such as file upload limit exist. Now, there are two types of uh, uh, policies that can be used. One is uh, your core rule set, and as part of the core rule set, you can have the application gateway support uh, three core rule sets that is CRS uh, 3.1, 3.0 and 2.2.9 so these rules protect your web applications from malicious activity now apart from this we can also have a custom rule yeah so application gateway also supports custom rules with custom rules you can create your own rules which are evaluated for each request that passes through WAF. These rules hold a higher priority than the rest of the rules in the managed rule set. It is a set of condition is met and action is taken to allow a block. All right? Yeah, a managed bot uh, protection uh, that is part of the bot mitigation, a managed bot protection rule set can be enabled for your WAF to block or log requests from known malicious IP addresses alongside the managed rule set. The IP addresses are sourced from Microsoft Threat Intelligence feed. Intelligent Security Graph powers Microsoft Threat Intelligence and is used by multiple service providing Azure Security Center. If bot protection is enabled, incoming requests that match malicious bots client IPs are logged in the firewall log. You can access WAF logs from storage accounts, event hub or log analytics. 
all right let's look at the WAF modes so the application gateway WAF can be configured to run in two modes one is detection mode and the another one is prevention mode so in detection mode what happens is it monitors and logs all threat alerts and you turn on logging diagnostics for application gateway in the diagnostics section you must also make sure that the WAF log is selected and turned on web application doesn't block incoming requests when it's uh, operating in detection mode yeah? now let's talk about the prevention mode so prevention mode blocks intrusions and attacks that the rules detect the attacker receives a 403 uh, unauthorized access exception and the connection is closed prevention mode records such attacks in the WAF logs yeah now let's talk about WAF monitoring yeah so to monitor the health of your application gateway yeah it's so important right so monitoring the health of your WAF and the application that it protects is supported by integration with uh, the components of Azure such as Azure Security Center, Azure Monitor and Azure Monitor Logs, right? So let's talk about Azure Monitor and Azure Security Center in this slide. So Azure Application Gateway Logs are integrated with Azure Monitor. This allows you to track diagnostic information including WAF alerts and logs. You can access this capability of, on the Diagnostics tab in the Application Gateway Resources in the portal or directly through Azure Monitor, right? Now, on the other hand, Azure Security Center helps in protecting or preventing, detecting and responding to threats. It provides increased visibility into the, and control over the security of the Azure resources. Application Gateway is integrated with the Security Center and Security Center scans your environment to detect unprotected web applications it can recommend applications gateway WAF to prevent these vulnerable uh, resources. You create the firewalls directly from Security Center. These WAF instances are integrated with Security Center and they send alerts and health information to Security Center for reporting. Right Now let's move to the next two components that is Azure Sentinel and Azure Logging. Right? So with Azure Sentinel, Microsoft, as you know, Microsoft Azure Sentinel is a scalable cloud native security information event management and security orchestration automated response solution, right? So Azure Sentinel delivers intelligent security analytics and threat intelligence across the enterprise, providing a single solution for alert detection, threat visibility, proactive hunting, and threat response with the built-in Azure WAF firewall events workbook you can get an overview of the security events on your WAF these includes events matched and block rules and everything else that gets logged in the firewall logs right logging so application gateway WAF provides detailed reporting on each thread that it detects Logging is integrated with Azure Diagnostic Logs and alerts are recorded in the .json format and these logs can be integrated with Azure Monitor Logs, right? Great. Now, we've covered quite a bit on the uh, Azure uh, Application Gateway um, for WAF, right? Yeah, we, we covered quite a few features and uh, what are the policies that we can utilize and how we can actually configure the various monitoring uh, so that our web applications are protected right so it's it's your type of your web application firewall right great so now um, we are done for this session but in case if you have any further queries or if you want to learn a few additional things you can go to, to, to the links uh, which are provided on the screen here right and uh, that's all for now guys uh, uh, please do click on the like icon and please do click on the subscribe icon okay great until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you